Hello everyone. Uh, the purpose of this video is just to give a little demonstration or illustration on what a physically distanced classroom would look like, a typical classroom. Uh, I am located now in a classroom at Franklin Academy High School. Uh, this is one of our math teachers uh, classrooms. He's actually the, the math department coordinator. Um, so I'm standing in his room and I have spaced all of the student desks out. Uh, they're all six feet apart from each other, uh, front to back and side to side. Uh, and I'm going to show you how many people we can fit in this uh, classroom at one time. So we've got four rows, three chairs in each row for a total of 12 students. Um, and again, this is a, a pretty typical size classroom uh, across the district, and there's not a lot of additional furniture in this room, as you can see. I am going to point the camera around to some other areas. I've stationed a lot of these extra desks that we'll have to get out of his room. We'll have to put those somewhere else uh, because we just can't fit them in here with the number of students that will be in this room. And some of you might say, well, can't you fit another row over here and put more students in? Well, remember what we've talked about at, at Franklin Academy in the middle school. We, we want to avoid using student lockers so we don't have students uh, rubbing up against one another going in and out of their lockers. So we're going to plan on students bringing their backpacks, uh, jackets, books, lunch bags, that kind of thing into their first period class. So imagine this classroom being a first period class when the students come in, they're going to have to have some place to put those things. They won't have room around their desk. So this teacher might choose this area over here to place them. He might put some of them up over on the shelf over by the windows. So we're going to have to allow for some of that. If you look over here, This is his smart board. So I'll go stand at it. Now here's an issue that we have. Right now, I'm about six feet from that first row. There's guidance that tells us that an instructor, a teacher, as they're speaking from the front of the classroom should really be 12 feet away from that first row, or put uh, see-through partitions on the front row. Uh, now we're working on some of that, but we won't be able to have that in place uh, for every classroom. So in this particular case, we might need to take that row and move it back and move, instead of four rows of three, try to find some way to do three rows of four and put student materials elsewhere. It's something we could do, but this classroom is a good example of how difficult it is for us to set up uh, for a, a regular size class and do what's required, which is our social distancing, our physical distancing of six feet apart. So many people have asked, well, why can't every student just come back to school? Why can't we just do 100%? This is one of the reasons we can't do that. We're cohorting our students and grouping them together in small groups. So this teacher would have anywhere from 8 to 12 students in a cohort group uh, throughout the day, and we could definitely make sure that we were physically distanced. Uh, really anything more than that, we'd, we'd be less than six feet apart, and that would be uh, out of the realm of what the, the guidance document from the Department of Health uh, suggests. So, I hope this gives you a little glimpse. I'm going to do one scan around so you can see all the, the seats. So there's the back row. And you've got your middle row and your front row. And then there's the front of his room. His teacher computer station is over here. He's got a teacher desk over there. Now this particular teacher might even need to move one of those desks out of the way. Uh, for student movement in and around the, the classroom. Um, anyway, I hope that helps. 
Many of you have asked to see what it would look like uh, at an elementary school. It might look similar. There might be a few additional uh, things uh, around the room as for instructional aids. Um, the desk might look a little bit different at an elementary school. Some might be small tables. Some might be a standalone table with a desk with a chair next to it. Uh, but this, this will be a pretty typical uh, high school, middle school classroom, what, you're stand, what I'm standing in right now. So thanks for watching and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.